So I'm going out to Dolores River with my urine nymphing rod. I'm also bringing my streamer rod because I'm going to hit up that little lake where I thought I might have gotten pike there. I don't know. I was being bit off, like, non-stop. I got my fishing license for Colorado. Around here, the fishing licenses expire in uh, end of March, starts anew on April 1st. So I got my year license, 71 bucks. At the gas station where I got the fishing license, the guy that worked there had uh, worked at Dolphin Docks down in Port Aransas, where I used to work actually as a deckhand. That was pretty cool, kind of a small world. I'm in Dolores. Dolores is so pretty. Nature is just beautiful. God really, really makes the most amazing beauty, I think. Should be a fun day, so stay tuned, guys. Driving along the river here, and it is muddy and kind of blown out. So I'm gonna run down and check the water. I think it's gonna be blown out. I'm hoping not. Let's keep our fingers crossed. It's cold. I should have brought a jacket. This is totally unfishable. The water is brown as can be. So it looks like I'm off to fish those little lakes. Luckily I brought my uh, streamer rod, so that's what I'll do. I'll go fish some streamers on those lakes. I'm going to be honest, I was a little bummed about the Dolores River. I really wanted to fish with my new three-weight rod, but I wasn't going to let that stop me from having a good time. I remembered from last time that these string of lakes are very deep and I need to let the fly sink about a minute before stripping in. Nothing right here, I'm gonna walk around, try that spot on the far end there. Each one of these uh, little lakes has one of these overflows. This one has a whole bunch of brush. It's gonna be tough to get a back cast. No, I'm not walking on water. There is a rock right there. I'm always having trouble netting the fish. And this time, my net got wrapped around my GoPro. It was really annoying. I think I know what was biting me off last time. This is my guess. It's not pike in this lake. It's big browns. And when they hit, browns have teeth. 
he swallowed that. I mean, I literally, I saw him hit it, and I set the hook instantly. Yet, he had that pretty deep in. So I think what they're doing is they're coming up and inhaling it, and then I must be setting the hook, before at least, I was setting the hook on, on one of their teeth. It's a decent sized brown. I didn't have my measuring tape with me. But I'm gonna guess that was 20, 21, maybe 22. Definitely a little smaller than that one I caught on the Animus, which I think was around 24, 25. That's what I caught him on. A little monster bugger. This one doesn't have a cone head though. It sure worked, huh? I'm gonna take a little break here. After a short break, I hooked another fish at the very same spot. Yeah, another big brown. Now I know what you're saying. This might be the same one. It's not. This one uh, has a little more girth in the belly. Right here, two, two big browns. I wish I had my measuring tape with me. Oh well, this is awesome. There's a few more of these lakes and I think I'm gonna try a few of them. I think I'm gonna switch back over to my uh, jointed green dragon, I think I called it. Basically, it's just an articulated uh, fly. It's windy, really windy. This one is really low, as you can see, but, I'm gonna try it anyway. At least I'm gonna be out of the wind because I'm kind of down and the wind is uh, going up, up over this. So, let's see. Oh, this one felt really nice. Oh, it's a big one. I need a bigger net. Luckily, I didn't lose him on that drop. Holy crap. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. That is as that's longer than my... This is, by far, the biggest trout I have ever caught. I don't even know if he's in the camera. I can't see. I can't tell. Oh my gosh. Boy, is he a beauty. Alright. Let's get him back in the water, huh? Yeah! 
Oh my gosh, that thing was huge. God, I wish I had my measuring tape. That thing had to, I mean, well, I know he's longer than my, my net, so I'm gonna go home and measure. Turns out my net is 25 inches long. And so that means this trout was about 26 to 27 inches. This is a crazy windy day. This is more windy than that other day I came out. Only this time, land some fish, big ones. I'm gonna take a break. It's about 1.30. I caught three large, <laughs> really good size brown trout by 1.30. It's amazing day, great day. Even if I don't catch another fish, I'm still gonna be really happy. This camera's about to die, so from this, on, this point out, it's gonna just be my GoPro. Well guys, good day. I think I brought in uh, four or five, and three of them were really good. So I am just really happy today. The biggest one, I mean, I, it has to be 27 or more. It really does. I, I've never caught a trout that big. You might be saying, McFly, I've caught plenty of trout over that size. I mean, that's, that's awesome. I. On the other hand, I haven't. Of course, I've only really been trout fishing, specifically trout fishing, for about four years, three years. And before that, it was mostly uh, ocean fishing, uh, redfish and sea trout and whatnot. I've caught plenty of fish well over that size, but not trout. So this is, this is one of the best days I've had in a long time. If you like this sort of thing, please hit that subscribe button right down below. I cannot talk enough about how beautiful this area is. You know, at first I was a little bummed that I uh, didn't get to fish the Dolores River because it was blown out. But it turned out to be a good thing because I caught a ton of trout and a really big one. I'm really happy actually that the Dolores River was blown out. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. Peace out.